Hey guys, welcome back to GNG Tactical and Outdoors. Today we've got something new to show you. It's the Benchmade 5370 FE Shootout. It's a uh, Alpha Front uh, tactical knife. It's the uh, fourth new knife that Benchmade has released for this year, 2022. And it'll be available for purchase around April the 21st. So let's take a look. Let's do an unboxing and see what we have here. All right, put that there, and as you can expect, obviously, it's a out the front knife. So here we go. So let's give a brief background as to uh, this particular knife. Here's a description from Benchmade. They wanted to come out with something that was lightweight and affordable. Uh, the list price on this is three hundred dollars. I expect dealers to be selling it for around $255. So this is their black class knife. It was specifically designed with law enforcement and tactical personnel in mind. Um, it's a perfect weak hand backup for anyone concerned with gross motor development under stress. The handles are a, um, let's see here. They're called CF Elite. That's their brand. It's a carbon fiber filled nylon that increases rigidity and allows for rapid deployment. And so it says the molded CF Elite has detailed texture that cannot be milled into aluminum. It has a uh, flat earth PVD coated CPM crewwear blade and a carbide glass breaker tip and a reversible clip. So if you're a lefty, you can move the clip from this side to this side made in the USA as well. So this is very lightweight. Um, Got to be honest with you. Let's let's just go over the specs real quick. Let's get that out of the way. So the blade length, it's a uh, 3.51 inches. Blade thickness comes in at 0 0.100 inches. Overall length is 8.22 inches. Closed length is 4.71 inches. Handle thickness is 0 0.51 inches. Weighs 2.8 ounces. Again, the blade finish is a flat earth. And the blade steel is CPM crew wear. Blade shape is Tonto. And has the glass breaker tip. There's no lanyard hold, but uh, at least you can... I don't think you'd want to put a lanyard on a tactical knife anyway. But uh, at least it's a... Uh, you know, that you can swap out the clip if you're lefty, put it on this side. So let's do a quick knife comparison with some other Benchmades that we have here. Let's put this here. So here we got a uh, the Mini Infidel, the 3350. You can see how much, you know, smaller this Infidel is compared to the Shootout. We have the Autocrat. So, so far we've got two double-sided uh, blades. This is only a single-sided blade. Let's get this Infidel out of the way. So you can see the Autocrat's a little bit longer than the Shootout. It's about the same handle size, though. And last but not least, I've got the 4600 DLC Phaeton. So it's virtually identical in overall length. And so let's just compare these two. Let's just start off with this. So right off the bat, you can obviously tell that the uh, deployment mechanism here, it's more um, triangular than this. So they both obviously shoot out incredibly fast. The uh, the thickness on the Phaeton is much thinner. I personally love the Phaeton. Um, if you followed Benchmade years ago, uh, HK used to make the Phaeton. I think it was the, uh, or what's now the Phaeton. HK had the 14808 series with the different color combinations. So you could get it, in this case it's blacked out. You could get the satin blade with the uh, black handles or um, satin blade with coyote tan handle or black blade with coyote uh, tan handle. This, uh, the shootout, they only come in this particular flavor. You cannot get it any other way, at least for now. I'm sure in the future they may come out with something different, but for right now, it's just this type of uh, flat earth color crew wear. 
Now, technically, this is a little bit lighter than the uh, the than the Phaeton, but um, overall, right here, the benefit with the uh, the new shootout is that it's got the glass breaker tip. The Phaeton does not. But what I do like about the Phaeton is that it's um, a slimmer profile. To me, it feels slimmer um, than the shootout. The shootout, it feels very plasticky. I know you can't see this. Um, you can't feel it, obviously. But uh, this is made out of aluminum. Again, this is their CF Elite. So uh, to give you an idea, to me, this feels, this is very plastic. Um, but again, Benchmade designed this for the entry-level market. Uh, this is retail a $400 knife. This retails $300 knife. So you get what you pay for. Now, both of these are uh, single-edged. This is the, as far as I know, this is the only Tonto blade that's an out the front that Benchmade makes. And both of these are uh, single-edged. Okay, so there we had Misfire. So we'll engage. There we go. Now let's compare it with the Autocrat. What I don't like about this Autocrat is the handle design. This feels very weird. I, I can't really explain it, that, but this curvature feels very unnatural when I'm holding it. It's kind of like, where do I grip it? Do I grip it down here below, or am I supposed to grip it up high? If I grip it up high, my thumb wants to has an inclination to want to touch the blade, and obviously you don't want to do that with a double-sided blade. So in a way, it's no surprise to me that one of the variations of this Autocrat was actually discontinued. They no longer carry it. I believe it's the satin blade with the black handle. Don't quote me on that. Um, but personally, I've never been a fan of the Autocrat. I just don't like the way that it feels. Again, it just feels very weird. I mean, you know, do I grip it up here or am I supposed to grip it down below? At least with the shootout, this feels very ergonomic. There's only, you know, you're not going to grip it any other way. It's just right here. <laughs> so, um, and again, let's take a look, compare with the, um, with the Mini Infidel. So I can tell you right away, you're not going to get worn down. Uh, this isn't going to wear you down by deploying it. This may just because I can't explain it, but it's got the, uh, the deployments here along the handle as opposed to on this side of the handle that's on the side. Now for practical reasons, I don't see why you'd want to carry um, a double-sided blade, um, in particular one this small. This seems like a great buy though, the shootout. What I like about it, again, it's just an entry-level uh, price point for a automatic it's not, you know, it's not the best that's out there, but at least it gets you into the market if you're looking for something inexpensive to just start off with. So, so there you go. It's, um, yeah, I think it's a really nice design. It hasn't grown on me yet, but you know, it's to me it's better than the Autocrat design. And uh, but quite frankly, out of all the out the fronts, the um, Phaeton is still one of my favorites. Again, it just. To me, it's just very sleek. Um, that's just a personal preference. You may choose to um, to carry the shootout because that you you like it because of its price point. You like its uh, design aesthetically. You know, it is very you know nice looking. Um, you know, not terribly aggressive, but you know, when it comes to practic practical uh, standpoint, I love the fact that this has a glass breaker tip. These others don't. So in a real world situation, which would you end up seeing yourself actually using for an everyday carry? For me, it'd probably be the shootout just because of the fact that it has a glass breaker tip. Uh, I'm not aware of any automatic um, out the front Benchmade knife that features that carbide tip. So yeah, I would definitely want to carry the shootout for everyday use. So in the event if like a car were to roll over, at least I can get out, right? This, good luck. Um, you better have a glass breaker to get out of the, um, get out of the car. But um, anyway, I would really love to know what you guys think. Uh, leave some comments down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, drop a like. And um, overall, yeah, I, you know, this isn't good. I'm not blown away by the design, but 
you know, heck for again the price point, you know, for two fifty five, you get what you pay for. Um, you know, it's just a you know clean design. This other thing I forgot to mention too. So yes, this feels very plasticky. But it's got this nice um, you know textured grip here. If, if I were to describe it, it feels like sandpaper. So I guess you know if you're sweaty. Um, you know, under duress in that situation where you have to defend, you know, you protect yourself. Um, you could grip it here. Kind of feels more natural to, for me at least, to want to grip it this way as opposed to holding on to something like this. But to each his own. Um, anyway, leave some comments. Let me know what you think. And um, again, just follow us. We're going to have more knives coming out this year and uh, different brands. And um, we definitely appreciate you stopping by and tuning in. Until the next one, y'all have a great day. So long.